Good day everybody. It's uh, now the update number 87. Um, we're getting close to that 100 mark. I'm hoping by 100 or so that the contest will be over and we can uh, award the prize, uh, that treasure box of stuff. Um, value of that box is probably somewhere over $200 at this point. So you may want to uh, keep checking it out, uh, watching for the uh, ends of the uh, videos. Um, and I'm also trying to improve the quality of the videos. I know it doesn't look like it, <laughs> but um, I've been using an Android phone uh, to do most of the video work. And for whatever reason, it's not turning out, uh, it turns out kind of blurry or um, kind of hazy. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a lighting or exactly what it is. It could well be the lighting. Uh, let me turn on another light here. There we go. Is that any better? I don't know. No, I've got a shadow. Anyway, so um, I don't know whether uh, or what to do exactly other than acquire a GoPro, which is the next step. Uh, if anybody has a GoPro out there, they want to trade for vintage goods, let me know. I've got lots of stuff to trade. Um, I'd prefer a, a GoPro 7 in black, the black version, um, but I'm pretty much not going to be uh, too choosy, depending upon price, of course. But uh, I would like a decent decent camera that's going to last and is in decent shape. Cosmetically, I'm not too concerned whether it's scuffed up or anything because it's going to get banged up and scuffed up anyway. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to get a body harness as well and the hat kind of harness or head harness so I can um, show you point of view of picking of what I do when I'm actually out um, and out and around in farms and uh, old houses and barns and sheds and that sort of thing when I'm hardcore picking um, yeah so that's uh, what I'd like to do to show you guys what I'm actually doing um, yeah had the opportunity to do that at this one estate sale I was digging through a couple sheds and uh, going through the house etc uh, but uh, having the phone on is not uh, um, just doesn't really work holding the phone out in front of you and kind of panning around just yeah and people get kind of skeeved out about it about uh, being filmed and the like so I've got to watch for that anyway um, yeah but I'd like to show you what I actually do so I've got some pics slowly getting lined up but I need a camera before I actually go out on them um, otherwise it's kind of a waste of uh, waste of a chance to show you what I'm doing hmm so um, yeah and yes I got a shave yeah I'm getting uh, looking like Santa Claus again so um, yeah let me know what you think, um, or if you've, you uh, contact me if you've got a camera to uh, to trade or uh, sell or whatever. Um, something like I said, something decent, preferably a GoPro brand name GoPro, not a generic. Um, the generic ones, I'm kind of uh, wary of. They tend not to survive. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it for the moment, and. Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh, we did get some painting started again. Uh, the painters started and did some uh, cut work around the doorways and the like. Uh, not much to see, really, so I didn't bother to film that. Um, so they'll be back next week. Um, they sh the gal's got a big family and such and has other uh, other commitments, so can only get so much done at a time. 
Anyway, uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more, per usual. Um, possibly on some unboxing or something like that. Um, did get uh, all the stuff from the estate sale priced and out. So it's all available. Uh, you'll have seen it in the last video. Cleaned up some of it. So, um, yeah, check it out. And uh, if you haven't already. So, stay tuned. So, I um, had thrown these letters on the uh, door. Of course, picked them up at the dollar store. And uh, to be expected, I suppose, dollar store letters, they don't stick. <laughs> um, they tend to uh, peel off for some reason. They don't want to stick. And uh, I was going to use them for this little project as well. Um, just wanted to make a sign that uh, has buying across the top and then would have... I was going to pin my uh, buying flyer onto the uh, center part. But uh, yeah, the letters aren't sticking. So I'm going to have to paint it on, I guess. Or uh, buy better stickers somewhere. Uh, avoid the dollar store, I guess. Oh well, c'est la vie. Anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of the latest little project I'm working on. Um, it's Saturday at the moment, and it's been quiet. I've had a few customers through, a few dollars coming in. Uh, not as busy as you'd expect for tourist season, which is unfortunate, but uh, there's been stuff going out. Uh, my painter was back um, and did some cut work around the doors. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. Uh, and uh, we'll hopefully be back Monday to continue and try to get uh, this back wall done. And once it's done, I can put this shelf on, get some more stuff organized. Uh, it's going to be the automotive section. So there'll be a lot of uh, car-related manuals, oil tins, and uh, all sorts of automotive-related stuff, or garage-related stuff, guy-related stuff, I suppose, like old tools and that sort of thing, too. So that's the plan for it. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, that's been about it. Um, stuff's been going a bit, but, uh, like I said, it's slow. Anyway, um, stay tuned for more. So in the end, I decided just to glue the letters on and uh, threw a couple of my old flyers on top of it and there you go. It looks looks alright. Got the old sign on the bottom and uh, flyers on the top and I'll probably throw my business card up in the corner or something here maybe. And got some room for other photos of stuff which I'll pin up there as well eventually. Anyway, this is good enough for now. Hopefully it'll prompt a few people to uh, bring some stuff in or something. All right, um, to be continued. For whatever reason, everybody, or close to everybody, it seems at least 60-70% anyway, of the people that uh, try to leave here tend to push on the door. And of course, it's a pull door. So anyway, I've got a bunch of these signs here. So I threw one of them up. So hopefully that's going to solve the problem and people will pull rather than push that door. And uh, I had another one or several of, several of those signs and uh, I decided I might as well put a staff only uh, on the back door that leads to the furnace room. So that's been done. Unfortunately, I don't have one that says says uh, private, so I can't um, put it up. Go on, what is this? Is it peeling off? No. No, it is too. Oh man. The sticky stuff on it's so sticky that uh, my hands were covered in in uh, glue 
but uh, anyway, there we go. So, a few other little things here and there. So, still got to deal with this one. I guess I'm going to have to throw some glue underneath and just uh, deal with that that way. So much for dollar store letters. So, I figured while we're on the subject of uh, flyers and buying signs and such, um, I thought I'd show you some of my old flyers um, and uh, tell you a story about, a, about one of them. Uh, this is one of, I think, the second or third one I started using. I designed it with uh, using stick-on letters and cut-out photos and typed uh, pieces. So it was fairly effective. Um, has photos and stuff to kind of um, prompt people into thinking, oh geez, I've got one of those. And uh, some toys and stuff on the back. And then I've got my phone numbers here. Later on I started putting my shop name on it as well. These are no longer my phone numbers. These are old phone numbers. But I do have a bunch of these flyers. So what I've been doing is just stroking the phone numbers off and uh, either attaching my card or writing my phone number in place. So I can use these up because I think I've got a stack of them somewhere. So I'm using them up slowly. But uh, in the 90s, those are from the 90s, so the early 90s, but in the mid, mid-late 90s, um, a old girlfriend, uh, thanks Steph, um, she designed this one. And uh, this was before it was super easy to do this, uh, but she designed it on a, on the computer. Um, at one time it wasn't this easy to do, or as easy to create stuff like this as it is now. But uh, anyways, she designed it and put it together quite nicely. And uh, there it is there on the back. A little more professional looking and uh, and it's got my phone numbers which are no longer valid. Like I said, the other ones are no longer valid. And it's got my shop name on it and address and such. Now, it was an effective flyer. Quite proud of proud of it. It worked out nicely. Problem is, three other guys decided it was a really good flyer as well. And uh, what they did was photocopied it and took my phone numbers off and put their phone numbers on it. And uh, didn't put a name or anything on it. Just put phone numbers. So, uh, two of them quit right away. Which, great. They, they were uh, uh, fairly... Uh, prompt on uh, quitting uh, copying the flyers but there was a third individual who uh, kept going for three years after being warned and uh, came to the point where I had to threaten legal action and uh, which I was going to pursue uh, because I found out that I own copyright for these flyers and the fact of the matter is um, <sighs> You can't just go and copy somebody else's work without uh, giving them some sort of uh, compensation, agreed upon compensation. So you can't just go around photocopying people's stuff. Just like you can't photocopy magazines and that sort of thing. So copyright law says that it's a no-no. So anyway, um, yeah. So if any... any uh, of these still exist in your area and they don't have my shop name on them tear them down <laughs> please and uh, send them to me if you could that'd be cool uh, I'd like to know if there's anybody else using it as well um, kind of ticked me off uh, because it's the thing is if the person that uh, they're buying from using my flyer or using the design isn't happy for whatever reason, whether it be a valid reason, they got ripped off, or even if they're just disgruntled because they didn't get as much money as they'd hoped from the person, for whatever reason. It's coming back on me because my name is on the flyer, or on my design anyway. Um, so I'm not 
too impressed with that, of course. Uh, who would be? <laughs> but um, hopefully it's no longer an issue. Hopefully they're not still floating around out there. I'm sure there's some old ones floating around still, but hopefully the, uh, they're no longer uh, commonplace. So, if you see one, get rid of it. Uh, I did give one other guy permission to use the design. Uh, hopefully he's no longer using it. I prefer him not to at this point. Um, but, uh, yeah, unless he's got his name on it, of course. But, um, yeah, it's just causing confusion now, and uh, I'd like to kind of put it to rest. So, But, uh, anyway, so there it is. Um, yeah. So, I, um, yeah, so you end up in these situations, um, just trying to do your, do, uh, business, and in the course of business, people decide that, uh, they like your, uh, work so much that they're going to copy it. Kind of a irritating fact. But, uh, anyway, that's about all. I uh, thought I'd let you know about that. Uh, one of these days I'll redesign the flyer after I run out of the other ones. And uh, we'll have something completely new. But until that time, I'm using these old ones. Probably just photocopy them and change them up a little bit. So, now I guess that's about all um, for this update. So, happy picking. Safe picking. Take care. contest time once again and in this case we've got a little aluminum 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 uh, comb and they call these a knit comb <laughs> for uh, combing the lice out of your kids heads but uh, they're I think these ones date to the 20s or 30s something like that so time period is kind of cool no, it doesn't come with nits or lice. It's clean. Or clean enough, anyway. No nits or lice. I don't know about 100% clean, but it's it's kind of cool still. Just a neat little aluminum comb. So I'll put that in. Happy picking. Safe picking. Take care.